of Aries Group, which would provide a unique creative business platform to our industry to grow, excel, and provide its worthwhile contribution to world cinema. This US dollar 10 billion investment project, Indie Group, promises to fulfill the 100 set targets in the coming five years, taking Indian cinema to the level it deserves. As part of this, many pilot projects have also been launched simultaneously. The first edition of All Lights India International Film Festival and Indie Film Market 2015 were just baby steps which took the project Indie Wood to a whole new level altogether. The five-day extravaganza created history in the field of entertainment, making it the hottest affair in town. Events were held in six different venues, providing delegates a larger-than-life and never-before-experience. Indiewood Film Carnival's second edition promises to be bigger and better than its first edition. Organized under the aegis of Sri K. Chandrasekhar Rao, Chief Minister of Telangana, the Film Carnival is scheduled at the largest film studio in the world, Ramoji Film City, Hyderabad, from September 24 to 27, 2016. Fifteen events, four days, one destination. Indiewood Film Carnival will include the following major events. All Lights India International Film Festival, Indie with Film Market, International Film Business Awards, Golden Frame Awards, Indie with Excellence Awards. Subcategories include Indie with Maritime Excellence Award, Indie with Medical Excellence Award, Indie with Media Excellence Award, and Indie with CSR Excellence Award. Indie with Talent Hunt, Investors Meet, Product and Project Launches. Film Business Quiz, Conference and Panel Discussion, Workshops and Seminars, Media Interactions, Film Tourism, Miss Indiewood 2016, Red Carpet and Networking Parties, and much more. With a lineup of 200 films from over 80 countries, 1,000 short films, 200 expo booths, exciting panel discussions, workshops and seminars, talent hunt competitions, Miss Indie with beauty pages and dazzling award ceremonies, Indie with Film Carnival will attract over 200 investors, 500 celebrity guests, 5,000 film festival delegates and 2,000 film market delegates to the event. As part of Project Indie would set targets to transform film exhibition experience in India, the world's finest dual 4K Atmos Theatre, Aries Plex, with six screens was inaugurated at Trivandrum to become the converted theatre wonder of our country. Ranked as number one, Aries Plex was also bestowed with the best adapted single screen to multiplex in India award at the Big Cine Expo Award 2016. Indie Wood is a concept which would bring together the role players of the movie making industry who can contribute to the growth of Indian cinema and establish brand India worldwide. Join us as we celebrate the best of the entertainment industry. Indie celebrate the culture. Uh, come on, I can do a little better. Come on, on the back benches, I think they're much more enthusiastic. Are we having some fun? Can I hear a yeah? yeah. A little louder, yeah? yeah? Nice, nice. I think we're really ready to go to the next part of the evening. Console, take us further. History has shown us that the institution of war created by humans is not only morally reprehensible, but utterly ineffective in resolving any kind of disputes. Situated in the northern east edge of eastern Arabia, at the tip of Persian Gulf, the state of Kuwait is known for its rich heritage and culture. It was in the 1700s 
when nomadic tribes from Central Arabia settled in the Bay of Kuwait City. Thereafter, the city flourished rapidly and established itself as a major trading route from Persian Gulf to Aleppo. It was in the 1930s when oil was discovered in Kuwait, which facilitated large-scale modernization in the country. The sprawling desert sands of Kuwait became the land of black gold, which attributed to its economic potential. Ironically, the very oil proved to be a boon as well as a bane for this nation. On one hand, it accounted for its social and economic progress, and on the other hand, it triggered some greedy wars and economic ups and downs. Kuwait shares its border with Iraq, which too is sumptuous in natural resources, especially oil, and shares an equally enviable cultural heritage. There has always been an uneasy calm in both the regions. The economic breakdown of Iraq after the Iraq-Iran war crippled the economic state of the country. By the end of the war, Iraq accumulated a total debt of $60 billion, out of which $14 billion had been borrowed from Kuwait. The relations between the countries strained when Kuwait refused to waive off the debts and decrease its share of oil production. The lingering tensions between Kuwait and Iraq escalated to a climax in 1990 after Kuwaiti wells by Iraqi forces. The bloodshed and destruction that followed has no parallel in modern history. Civilians began suffering from day one of the invasion, and the atrocities towards humans continued with the duration of the war. Thousands were either killed, wounded, raped, or taken prisoner before the war ended. The capital cities of the two countries, Kuwait and Baghdad, turned out to be graveyards of thousands of civilians, including women and children. The six-lane highway between Kuwait and Iraq, officially known as Highway 80, virtually turned into a highway of death. Tens of thousands of expatriates who migrated to these oil-rich pastures had to flee, leaving all their belongings and earnings. The war also impacted the world economy in general, and the Gulf economy in particular, for a long time. It triggered wild fluctuations in currencies, leading to severe stock market volatility and had its telltale impacts on the industry, trade, commerce and tourism. The Gulf War triggered and aggravated the American recession and climbing oil prices. Airlines saw the cost of jet fuel soar high, creating severe revenue problems. The crisis snagged the businesses and hurt the confidence of the customers. The Kuwait War of 1990 has been a subject of interest and fascination for historians and filmmakers alike. Many books have been written and movies have been made depicting the grave war of 1990. But none of these movies have succeeded in capturing the gravity and the depth of Kuwait War and its devastating consequences on human life, civilization, and economy. But for the first time ever, the world is going to encounter a mega war move, which will not just showcase the war which shook the world, but will bring out the true story of this historic war, which was a major turning point in the very history of West Asia. A pioneering celluloid attempt to capture the Kuwait war in its full depth and magnitude, we present to you Burning Wells. So I have some key factors, some interesting things to throw at you. 170 crore rupees budget. So once I've if you need a Parsi actor, I can cut my rates, you can please add. I went to Sham Venegal sir many, many years back, sir, but he said, no, you have to ask someone. So I'm just doing that right now, sir. I just did that. Uh, it's, I think, perhaps the first film in the world which will be shot in English, Arabic and Hindi with three different casts at the same time. Big round of applause for that. That's really innovative. 
That's not it. It's going to be dubbed in not five, not in ten, not in fifteen, but in thirty different languages, ladies and gentlemen. Thirty different languages. Can you imagine the reach of the film? And I mean, this is overwhelming. But uh, there's a part, there's a very unique partnership happening even on the directorial front of this uh, film. And uh, to talk more about him, what can I say about this personality? The first personality that I'm going to talk about was part of the directorial front of the film. Uh, I mean, 145 films in five different languages. And, 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 and that's a 90% hit ratio on all of us in the Do you have an idea who I'm talking about? Renowned as a master craftsman, Ivy Shashi is one of the most prolific filmmakers in India, who encompasses a vast arena of visual beauty and substance through his movies. He has directed over 145 films in different languages and genres. He started his film career as an art director and later worked as a cinematographer in some films in multiple languages. Known for his unique style of filmmaking, he has constantly delivered super hits and cult classics throughout his career in different genres. Some of his movies, which to date are regarded as the best of Malayalam cinema, include Devasura, 1993, Mrigaya, 1989, and Adi Urupubu, 1984. His war-themed movie, 1921, became the first Malayalam movie to be nominated in the Italian Film Festival. He received the Indian National Film Awards and the Narugis Dutta Award for the best feature film on national integration for his film, Aruda. He is also the proud recipient of the National Award, four Kerala State Film Awards, six Filmfare Awards, and the J.C. Daniel Award for outstanding contributions to Malayalam cinema. We are honored and proud to have him as the festival director of All Lights India International Film Festival and a proud supporter of Indie Wood Film Carnival.
found its place in the Oscar Library. The Curtain Racer documentary, Dams the Lethal Water Bombs, went on to win 23 international awards and numerous industry accolades. He's also the producer and product designer of various international movie projects and promoter of Indian movies at international film festivals. His passion towards technology drove him to set up the first 4K Atmos theatre in the country and establish the first total security studio network platform, complying Motion Picture Association of America standards to execute post-production works of international projects in India, along with co-production and distribution support. He is a revolutionary US dollar 10 billion initiative, Project Indivo. He's an innovative integration tool that aims to integrate and revamp the entire Indian film industry within five years. Yes. Yeah. 